And one of the most strong points of the cardiac MRI is the ability to do tissue characterization. And by the administration of gadolinium, which is a contrast, we are able to look at areas that we have not been able to look at before. And the scar is good for making a diagnosis. It is good for prognosis and it is also good for management. For example, endomyocardial fibrosis, for example, including amyloidosis. So in ischemic heart disease, if you have a scar burden of more than 50% of the wall, that means this patient is not going to get an optimal result post revascularization. Instead, if this patient follows the MADID 2 criteria, he'll be a good candidate for an ICD. So that is very good cost-effective medicine. In patients with amyloid, if you're able to look at this scar, you make the diagnosis of amyloid, and when you treat them with good anti-amyloid agents like dafamidis, you can actually look at these patients with MRI because it has no ionizing radiation. So serial longitudinal assessment is very good with MRI, and you will see the scar slowly disappearing, which means your drug is working.